Hey everyone, tonight, uh, I know it's a bit of a late video tonight, but we have a bunch of Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks. These definitely seem pretty legit. Uh, some comes from a Twitter account that is now deleted, and another seems to come from the official strategy guide having leaked uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. So if you do not want any spoilers for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which releases later this month, I would obviously not watch this video, but if you already clicked on the video, then uh, you obviously want those spoilers. But before we get into the rest of this video, we got to talk about the comment of the day from the other day on Halloween. We asked you guys, what's your favorite horror game? And I chose to talk about Gazenja Fox's comment, who's mentioned favorite horror game, probably Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. But I do appreciate the unique comedy horror stealth puzzle vibes of Gregory Horror Show, Soul Collector. Big shout out to that game. I never thought that game would ever be brought up on this channel. A game that never came out in the U.S. based on a TV series that never got a European release. I will never figure out the localization strategy of that franchise. Is. I don't understand it either. I've seen videos. I haven't actually played it. But hey, also, today's comment question of the day is, what is your favorite Pokemon game and why? All right, so let's get right into the news. And first off... Uh, we got to talk about Grookey and Sabo. We're talking about some evolutions for them. Uh, this came from a Twitter account. I got this information from uh, Nintendo Everything because that Twitter account has since been deleted. Uh, and we now get a look at the first evolutions for Grookey and Sabo. Uh, so here is the first evolution for Grookey. Uh, at least what appears to be a pretty legit. Again, it comes from a Twitter account that has been deleted. Uh, so that, that, that there's the first evolution for Grookey. Uh, and then this is the first evolution for Sobble. I think, you know, when you look at the original uh, up here, it kind of it looks like a, a, a good evolution, I would say, of those two. Uh, but now we get into the big one. And this is where, uh, as it says... Uh, leaks show, you know, Gigantamax forms, new Pokemon, score bunnies, final evolution, all that. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff here, and it's through a, a, a slew of images that seem to come from the official strategy guide. Uh, and here's the full roundup of what's going to be, what's going to be in these. We're going to see G Gigantamax Machop, Gigantamax Krabby, Gigantamax Garbodor, uh, Gigantamax Lapras, uh, Centis Corch, uh, Gigantamax Centicorch, uh, Gigantamax of a possible... Roy Royally Coily Evolution, so it's obviously like a evolution or a new Pokemon we haven't seen before. Um, Haterine, Silicobra, Sandaconda, Cinderant, and an unknown Pokemon, possibly Eternatus, and then an unknown Pokemon supposedly got Germanticus form of Silicorba and Sandaconda, but again, uh, all of this is completely unconfirmed beyond the images. So, let's get in the image, and this is obviously the first one right here. Um, yeah, Gigantamax, Machamp, I'm, you know, I... I I don't know what else I expected, but uh, it, he looks pretty badass. All right, next up, uh, here we go with Krabby here. The Gigantamax Krabby looks uh, looks pretty menacing, I got to say. Definitely a giant crab. Uh, reminds me of some Zelda bosses, to be honest. Um, next up, here we go. Here's uh, Garbodor. So, uh, Gigantamax Garbodor. It looks uh, pretty creepy. I love the, I love the boat. <laughs> uh, next up. Uh, we got uh, Gigantamax, the Gentle Scorch. So there you go. Um, looks almost like a tapeworm. Also, yeah, looks like a tapeworm. It reminds me a little bit of Volvagia from, from Zelda, but not, not the up here. This reminds me of a different boss, but yeah, pretty cool. All right, next up, uh, we got Gigantamax Lapras, obviously uh, right here, which was right above Gigantamax of the Machamp, but there you go. Um, probably maybe, maybe the least... Um, inspiring so far although i do like the look of the shell and those musical notes or whatever whatever that is it looks pretty cool all right next up um we have uh sent a scorch here so uh i guess that jagenda max version and this is the original so, so yep definitely got that tapeworm action going dude i love that x shape of the fire like it's coming out the nostrils or whatever that's really cool all right um you know there's the jagenda max and sent the scorch again next up um, we have, uh, Gigantamax Worldly Coily Evolution. That looks awesome. So, one thing I gotta note here, uh, so far is that I'm liking the Pokemon designs again. There, there was a few generations where I really wasn't enjoying the designs of the Pokemon, but I gotta say, so far, um, I'm liking these new designs, these new Gigantamax forms, or, or the new Pokemon. I'm really enjoying, uh, what they're doing with them. 
which is something that I couldn't say honestly before. Uh, this is Haterine here. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, that one I, I might need a closer look to have a full opinion. Maybe the least interesting so far that I've seen, but definitely um, looks interesting. All right. Um, next up here is the Silicobra. Um, it's almost like a, it's kind of like a dog face with a weird mouth on a cobra body. <laughs> I, I don't know that. that okay, the, the this was the probably the weirdest one. Maybe maybe the first design. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of. Um, Sandaconda. <laughs> okay, I mean it's just a curled up snake with whatever the heck is that another part of its body? I have no I have no idea. But uh, all right. Uh, next up we got. Uh, Cinderace. Ooh, that almost looks like that's like an NPC, but it's like a bunny. It reminds me of uh of anime, to be to be honest. Like anime characters, like you know, the the talking characters, like uh, talking animals, but alright, cool. See some of the weaknesses as well for those that are interested in that. Um Let me see here. Uh Unknown. This is one that we just don't know. Uh this is the uh, possibly externatus, but the the picture is kind of blurry, so it, it's hard to get a good look. Definitely looks menacing, of course, but uh, we don't really have um, a, a clear picture of it for some reason. I don't know why the other pictures are clearer. Maybe maybe they just saw this at a store and they had to snap photos quick. Um, and you know, sometimes you're in a rush and uh, you get what you can get before uh, they just realize. Oh, or it's an employee maybe who was in the back room that maybe shouldn't have been doing it. Um, Another unknown one, um, supposedly of Silicobra and Sandaconda. I mean, you can see like the tail here. I guess that can make sense a little bit. It looks really, I don't know, looks really different though than the other ones that we saw besides the tail. So I'm not exactly sure on this one, but it definitely looks interesting. It also looks like it's like a pot with honey coming out. And then there's like this long tail with like a dragon head. I don't know. I It, it, it looks interesting. <laughs> That's... That's really all I could say about that. And the source on this, just to double check, is uh, that Twitter account that has been deleted. The Leaks Pokemon Twitter account. So, uh, I guess that's really it for the Pokemon Leaks. Uh, these are obviously some of the most legit leaks that I think I've seen in some time. Because it definitely uh, doesn't look... Th this would be a pretty hard to fake kind of leak. Um, so, I, I gotta say that it looks legit. Obviously, take everything with a, a grain of salt. Because... I can't confirm any of this, and nobody can really confirm it, but it looks pretty legit. And Nintendo Everything uh, doesn't really post up a lot of rumors and leaks uh, unless it appears to be pretty legit. I mean, there's there's stuff that we've talked about on the channel that they completely avoid. So uh, I, I got to say that I, I'm getting more and more hyped the closer we get to Sword and Shield coming out. Now, I did get a chance to actually play Sword and Shield at E3, and uh, it was in, an enjoyable experience. It was it was just a gym, and you got to play around uh, with, with some battles and some puzzle elements, and then, uh, you know, I didn't get to go out in the open world like I know some people have, have been able to do since. Uh, so I think that, uh, or, or supposedly open world, it's kind of... I, I, I don't know. It's not truly open, if that makes sense, right? Um, it's kind of like you're on a set path, but like each area is, is like bigger, and you can kind of explore each area. It kind of reminds me of a, probably more like Ocarina of Time, uh, where I know some people consider Ocarina of Time to be completely open world, and it does completely open up at some point, but for large parts of that game, you're going area to area, and each area is open to explore, but you know, you're still kind of on a path uh, until a certain part of that game, and, that, and that's kind of what it feels like Pokemon Sword and Shield is doing um, until you obviously get later in the game, and then you can go anywhere you want, which you can do in any Pokemon game, so... I think that uh, I'm getting I'm getting more and more excited. I know that there are some some people that have concerns about this game, uh, but my concerns are, are, are kind of melting away now. I've never cared as much about the national decks as some people did, so that's I know we've covered that story in the past, uh, but that's not something that bothers me so much. Uh, the animations have obviously been something I I am critical of, and I hope improves, uh, but I can't control that. So. Um, one thing I can say, and and I believe I've said this before, Pokemon Sword and Shield does look like it might be the best Pokemon game ever made. And it, it, so when you start complaining about what this game is or what it's turning into, I think the complaints, and, and I'm just saying this from my perspective, are just that we wanted to see more out of the first true new-gen HD Pokemon game, the true home console Pokemon game. And when I say see more... I mean, we wanted to see more risks. We wanted to see more, um, more of, of an evolution, more of a Breath of the Wild take 
on Pokemon, right? I'm, this isn't even exactly Breath of the Wild, but you know what I mean? Where Breath of the Wild uh, kind of goes back to the roots of the series, but also completely expands Zelda beyond anything it's ever been before. Breath of the Wild, if you play that and you play any other Zelda game, you will know how different Breath of the Wild is and how much of an evolution it is for the series and why Breath of the Wild is about to sell 15 million copies, which is almost double the best-selling Zelda game before it. So we, we have to start thinking about Pokemon in this light where maybe people, after all these years of Pokemon going in this one direction, we're kind of hoping, hey, now that we have the power of a home console, I mean, it is significantly more powerful than a 3DS anyways, uh, we're hoping that it could take a, a next jump evolution. And to be fair, there are some things, the, the more openness of, of the world, the, the Pokemon being out in the wild seem to be more like Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Um, you know, we're seeing so, some, some different takes of the gyms and some different takes uh, with, with the story maybe a bit and some different takes with the, 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 the Gigamax or whatever it is, um, the Dynamax. Like, we're seeing the raid battle thing. Like, we're seeing them do new things, but these all feel like features that would just naturally be occurring in, you know, a new Pokemon game because we've seen them evolve the Pokemon series over time, introducing new features like this in the past. Not not exactly these ones, but, you know, Z-moves and all that stuff. So we have seen them do these sorts of evolutions before. So I think a lot of us were kind of looking at it as we don't just want the world to be bigger. We don't just want the perspective to maybe change or to have prettier visuals. We wanted to see a true... Um, evolution of the series and this feels more like an iterative step forward this, this is like the twilight princess to ocarina of time right and twilight princess is fantastic so there's nothing wrong with that and i do think this will be the greatest pokemon game ever made just um personally i would have liked to see more but uh i'm sure i'm gonna end up really enjoying this experience but we'll see I've been out of the Pokemon franchise for a while uh, for various reasons that hopefully uh, will, will be a journey of self-discovery playing Sword and Shield. I know I don't know which one I'm buying yet, so I'll figure that out uh, as, as uh, I get closer to making that purchase. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am the Thunder Robojets from the Nintendo Prime. Uh, i got more videos coming your way the rest of this upcoming week. Uh, more news stuff. We've got the return of the Nintendo Prime podcast for you guys to look forward to. Uh, so that should be exciting. I also want to get some more discussion videos and other things out the door. I don't have a consistent schedule just yet. Uh, I want to get a few live streams in as well. We'll, well. we'll figure things out as we go here and I get more into a flow between my new job and this. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And man, oh man, oh man, I got a lot. I got a lot. Like my whiteboard is chock full with all these uh, video ideas that have nothing to do with just news. Um, I know that we talk a lot of news on this channel, and one thing I think I might uh, be pushing more forward uh, in the future is more unique, quote unquote, unique content. You know, more top ten listings, more um, discussion videos, more uh, editorial style videos, because uh, there's a lot of it channels out there that cover news, and uh, I I'm always going to talk about news on the podcast. I think. The podcast will be uh, one of my primary sources for talking news. But here at the channel, uh, for regular video content, there will be big news like this every once in a while that I'm going to talk about. But I want to start steering things more away from relying on the news cycle for everything uh, and maybe more towards uh, you know content that might have news involved with it. But it's involved with it in, in a way to, um, you know, to, to talk about an opinion on a game. Uh, I would love to get into some game reviews as well more consistently uh, once I get my new Switch in the house. So, I don't know. Uh, just just some stuff I wanted to kind of throw out there to, for you guys to maybe look forward to. Uh, and I say, I'm say i saying maybe because i got to get the ball rolling on this content because it takes a lot longer to make than a news video. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.